Yeah, March 22nd, uh, day 22, we're all here. And another long day. Um, uh, the travel was good in the morning. And uh, then once around, I don't know when it must have been, 10 or 11 o'clock, when the, heat, when the sun started melting the snow, what was left on the snow was left on the lake. Got a little difficult. So what I did is uh, I just uh, set up a foam pad in the woods and uh, slept for a couple hours in the sunshine. And when I woke up, uh, the warmth had melted at quite a bit of the snow, and the conditions were a little bit better. I haven't slept good the last couple nights because of the sun, the intense sun, the ultraviolet kind of poisoning thing gives you headaches and weird dreams and that. So uh, two hour off was pretty good, and then I went pretty straight up then uh, down these late, long lakes, uh, and then on the French River, uh, I lined a number. Some of the narrows were open, so I lined or paddled. And I did. A, I just finished a section on the uh, French River, almost at night. The very last light, light I pulled over in mid camp. It's just extraordinarily beautiful. Small little river, uh, tall pines on either end, real kind of deep shadow, kind of spooky, clear sky above. Uh, very, very beautiful paddling though. And uh, I'm at the uh, I'm on the French River. I'm going to make the uh, portage to French Lake tomorrow. It's about two or three miles, probably three miles. And I'm going to get up really early, uh, hoping to catch a uh, crust on the snow. The thaw, the thaw did come in today. Um, got up to 42, which doesn't seem like a lot, but made a, a huge difference here. Um, by evening, late afternoon, uh, the lakes, again, were all water. All the snow had melted two or three inches of water on the thing. is safe, but just from the melting snow. So the travel went uh, really fast as the day went on. Uh, across some beautiful country, and these small little rivers on the French River is just beautiful. And it um, looks like the, the uh, thaw is going to continue tomorrow. So, But I'll be at the um, uh, French Lake. It's uh, like kind of a mile post for me, two-thirds of the way there. And then if I do make it through, the, hopefully the trail is going to be frozen enough. Yeah, And then I'll take a day or so off at Atacocan and visit some friends. Atacocan is like a town like Ely about uh, 15 miles from here, and uh, so I'll, I'll probably take a day or so off and get my equipment in order uh, and prepare, prepare for the final lap to get back in. So, But everything's going fine. Um, it's good suntan, way too much sun, and uh, trying things off in the tent right now. And uh, I'll check out here. It's uh, March 29th, uh, day 22, over now.